Today, I'm going to be making the Trader Joe's Stroop Waffle Cake. This is a baking mix. It was sent to us from Sarah in California, so thank you to Sarah. It is layers of sugar, flour, brown sugar, Stroop Waffle pieces, and crunchy caramel bits. You just add water, butter, and eggs. So, this comes off like this, and then there's plastic around the top and it opens very easily. So what you want to, uh, what you need for this is you need a loaf pan. So it says cake, so you picture it in a cake pan, but it's actually a loaf pan. You want to spray this with a cooking spray. So I've already sprayed it. You need three eggs, and then you need um, one and a fourth sticks of unsalted uh, butter. And then you also need four tablespoons of water. Now I have my four tablespoons of water. So uh, the uh, butter, you want to uh, just soften that in the microwave. You want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you want to set aside about a fourth of the Stroop waffle pieces. So it, you really don't know how much a fourth of this is, but this is just gonna be like your, um, it's like a little crunchy topping. So, you just want to take some of these off and get one more little. There we go. And I'm going to, that's all I'm going to get. I'm going to set those to the side. So, now I'm going to take this entire jar and dump it in here. I'm going to uh, pour my, my butter and my eggs and my water in this and mix it all together. Take your mixture, which smells incredible by the way. It smells very, very, very sweet. And you put it into your loaf pan. take your crumbles that you kept and put those over the top. I don't want them all to fall in one place. And then you're going to bake this for 55 to 60 minutes. So I will probably set my timer for uh, 58 minutes and then we'll be back. So I actually left the cake in for 57 minutes and it smells absolutely incredible. I mean, you can smell it throughout the whole house. It smells very, very sweet. So I cannot wait to uh, taste it. You are supposed to let it cool for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna set and, um, my timer for 30 minutes and we'll be back. So the calories on this are based on 10 slices. So, you're supposed to get 10 slices out of this. I'm just going to slice it like I would a normal um, cake. This is just how I would do it. Like a banana bread or something? Like a banana bread, yeah. So, that's how it looks. And now Kevin and I will give it a try. So, they give you calories on here for the dry mix. But, I mean, really, what difference does that make? Unless you're um, dry. Yeah, you're not going to eat this dry. You're going to add the eggs to it. You know, you have to add that stuff to it. Uh, so, the one-tenth of the prepared cake is 260 calories. Uh, that's if you get 10 slices out of it. So, I just cut that one slice that you saw. I cut it in half, and that's a good, thick slice. And let me just tell you, it has smelled good the entire time. I could not. <laughs> I would love to own a candle that smells this good, but then again, I couldn't have a candle that smells that good because I would. it would make me want to eat mm -hmm. all the time. I took a bite of the bottom first because I was saving that crispy part for a second bite. Mm. The the I'm not call this a bread because it has a, a banana bread, pumpkin bread kind of texture. Yes. Um, it's very good. It's very buttery. Mm hmm. I was gonna say this would be really good with butter on top of it. Mm -hmm. You could add butter to it. Um, I love the crispy part though. Mm -hmm. You know, the cake it itself is absolutely delicious. It says in the ingredients um, that it ha it does have cinnamon, but I don't taste cinnamon at all. I mean, not even a little bit. Cinnamon is almost one of the last ingredients. 
And so, for me, that's a good thing because I would rather not taste the cinnamon. Um, but it just tastes incredibly sweet. Mm -hmm. um, and it does remind you of a fruit bottle. Yes, it does. Except it doesn't have a really strong like caramel flavor. Mm -hmm. But it has more of that um, that waffle. Brown flavor. sugar the waffle. waffle flavor. Yes, yeah. the waffle flavor. And yes. it, like I said, it's very buttery. So it's very good. Mm -hmm. Good texture. It's a touch, very rich. It's a touch dry for me, but like you oh, said, if you were to put it. a little butter on there or, or eat it with milk or something, it would be even, I mean, just top notch. But it's really good. I love this. I, w I would eat this all the time. Yeah, of course definitely worth fun. But yeah. So, Sarah, thank you very, very much for sending it to us. We really appreciate it. And thanks for watching.